How are you gonna let others perceive you? Because everybody goes off their own imagination. The Next Door Podcast. Welcome back to The Next Door Podcast. I am Bestie Next Door, and I'm like your bestie next door. If you like your tea to be extra, extra sweet, then this place is not for you because we like our tea to be sweet and bitter. Sweet enough that it goes down, bitter enough to wake us up. Because of what we're talking about today, I had to bring out the 24K champagne. I'm scared of popping bottles, so I always have the mini ones. This is a 24 karat gold blue noon edition. If you can see, you see them gold flakes? Yeah, I'm going to have a 24K P tonight. (laughs) For SMR sakes, you know the drill. Let's crack it open. Ooh. Oh. Pour it up, pour it up. the 24k inside the glass first sip bubbly on today's episode we're talking about how to be a woman of value and using perception to your advantage now when it comes to being a woman of value it's really about how much access you give people to you this doesn't only apply to men it applies to friends family as well when they know less about you is the more they value you when you don't tell people too much or give people too much access to you when you finally grace their presence they value you more and value your time just think about it a friend that you talk to every single day as opposed to one of your good friends that you haven't spoken to in a long time when you finally see them don't you be excited don't you value their time don't you want to make sure every minute counts it's the same thing with becoming a valuable woman now Women like to think that income has a lot to do with their value, but it doesn't. It really has a lot to do with who you are as a person. Because believe it or not, there are some women that make a lot of money but have nasty attitudes. And you won't even classify them as valuable because of their stinking attitude. Because the things that you cannot replace are valuable. Money, phone, clothes, jewelry, car can all be replaceable. But what you can't replace, your body, your mind, and your time. Those are things you cannot replace. Now, when you think of men, in order for a man to be valuable, he has to be financially stable. But for a woman, those rules do not apply. And that's why we're lucky to be women. If you notice, the women that are feminine and uses perception to their advantage, they get whatever they want. I'm going to give you an example of myself. I don't have to worry about anything when it comes to my bills. All I got to do every day is wake up, do what I love to do, which is pass on information. When he comes back from work, make sure I keep him happy, make sure I make him feel needed, and I'm good to go. That's it. All this stuff that you guys see, this microphone, the setup, it's all with his hand doing. And I don't share these things online because privacy equals value. If I give up too much information about myself, the mystery of who I am, it fades away because I already gave it all. But because you don't know much about me, like you don't know my man, I don't show you lifestyle, it it gives you that kind of curiosity like, okay, well, she's always talking about this. Is her life really like that or is it not? Until I became a woman of value is when I was able to see those type of opportunities and It goes with relationship as well because when I first started my relationship, I wasn't really as feminine. And the moment when I switched that on, which took me time, was when my value increased. And because my man didn't want to lose the good thing that he's seeing, he started doing way more for me. So I'm saying all of that to say keeping things private equals value. Even your friend, your family, everyone doesn't need to know everything about you. Now, you need to use perception to your advantage. There's this Nigerian proverb, I don't want to be seen finished. And what does that mean? Being seen finished means is I don't want someone to see everything and know everything about me. So you may only have $5 or $100, 100 pounds, 100 euros, whatever currency you may have, the lowest amount in your pocket. But the moment you walk out that door, you don't need to look like that. You don't need to look like your problems. You don't need to look like your bank account. You have to understand expensive packaging. That is very important as a woman. Expensive packaging. How are you going to let others perceive you? Because everybody goes off their own imagination. Have you ever seen those challenges or case studies with the guys that be millionaires? They go around acting like a bum and asking everyone for change and no one wants to give it to them. And then later on come to find out that person is really rich. Same thing is perception, is the perception. They perceive this person to be broke, so that person is broke. And have you ever seen a person that's really, really broke, but everybody thinks they're rich? Perception. Perception. Everything around you is perception. This whole life, everything around you, what you're seeing right now, what you're watching, what you're listening to, perception. Perceptions plays an important role in life in general. There's a lot of famous artists right now that are signed in deals, and they look like they're rich because they have the jewelry, but they are dead broke. And there are a lot of underground artists that have way more money than the ones that are on top. 
I'm saying this so you can understand perception, perception, perception. How do you want to be perceived? This is why I talk about listening to the High Value Woman audiobook. When I say listen to the High Value Woman audiobook, it really challenges you to think differently about yourself and really challenge you to be someone that you're not. Because you have to be a little bit delusional. You have to be. When they say, oh, you're delusional, that's crazy. Yeah, I am delusional because it's my world at the end of the day. Life is so, so deep. And the more you understand how deep life is and everything's illusion and everything's about perception is the better you're going to use it to your advantage. Let's say you're looking for a job. You're not going to go to job interviews or job locations looking like you need a job. You're going to go like you already have a job. Like they need you. You don't need them. That's how you need to go into places. That's what you call perception. They need me. I don't need them because I'm the prize. You need me to help your company. I don't need you. Perception. That's why to date a man with money is not that hard. It's really not a hard thing. It's just keeping the man. Yes, you can use perception, but who are you inside? That's what it is to be a woman of value. It's not only about the outside, but it's also the inside. Because if you're a bad egg in the inside and they crack you open and they see you're spoiled, you're going in the garbage. I hope you understand that terminology. And another thing too is let's be realistic too. It's not about dating the richest guy. It's about dating a guy that's in the appropriate tax bracket that's going to make you feel the way you deserve. And you have to understand that even though he may be able to provide the material things and the lifestyle you may want, which may be just paying your bills or, you know, giving you nice gifts or giving you money here and there, you're going to have to trade something. You're going to have to trade something. A lot of women don't understand this. When you're dealing with a man who's financially stable, I'm talking about the high, high, high financially stable, you're going to trade time. He's not going to have that much time for you. So it's, it's a trade-off. It's also a trade-off. That's why Taking the high value women course is also good because you start understanding that, yes, even though I'm dating a man with money, even though he may not have that much time for me, but I'm occupied with my time chasing my dreams as well. And it's not like you're chasing your dreams in an aggressive way. You're chasing your dreams in a relaxed way because you know all your bills are sorted. So whatever happens, happens. It doesn't even matter. Whatever happens, happens. You're doing it from a calm, peaceful place. Because most of the times, the reason why women are so concerned about what a man is doing is because they're not occupied with their time. When you are occupied with your time, you're not going to be worried about what your man is doing. As long as he's paying all the bills and he's not rubbing anything in your face, you're good to go. What you don't know won't hurt you. Nine times out of ten, if he's financially stable, he's more occupied with work more than anything. A man can't be financially stable and have so much time for girls. It doesn't work like that. It's only 24 hours in a day. And if he's missing one hour, you're going to know he's talking to somebody else. Because where's that hour going? Because he don't even give me that much time. You get what I'm saying? So now being a woman of value, you need to be willing to learn new things and adapt to your surroundings. You have to be adaptable. That is one thing about being a valuable woman because you never know what situation you're going to be in. So you have to be adaptable. You need to be emotionally intelligent. Emotional intelligence is very important for a woman. It's very important. And these are the things you learn listening to the High Value Woman audiobook. You understand emotional intelligence because being emotional intelligent, how you react is what's going to make a situation work in your favor or not. Now, when you're trying to use perception to your advantage, you need to step out of your shell and step out of your circumstances, act like the woman you want to be. This is why listening to the High Value Woman audiobook is going to be very beneficial because it challenges you and it really taps into your subconscious mind by making you think deeply. If you want to be that girl, be that girl. It's just that simple. Stop looking at your circumstances and what's happening around you as an excuse as to why you can't be that girl. Because in order for you to get what you want, you have to be the woman that's deserving of what it is you want. Understand this. Everything around us is energy. If you're vibrating at level four and you're looking to attract a level eight, you're not going to attract anything but that same level four that you want until you rise your vibrations to that level eight that you're looking to attract. Treat yourself well. You can't want men to treat you good if you don't treat yourself well. Buy yourself quality clothes. Change your wardrobe. Spend money on your wardrobe. Spend money on self-development courses. Spend money on books to help transform yourself. These are things that are timeless. You know, the question people ask all the time, where do I find a man with money? Not knowing that you can go to the places where men with money are, but you're probably not even going to get them because you're not even vibrating at that frequency to attract them to you. Perception. Use perception to your advantage. Listen to the High Value Woman audiobook and do the challenge to transform yourself so you can use perception to your advantage to attract what you want. Whether it be a job, whether it be a relationship, perception matters a lot in this world. And how are you going to use it to your advantage? The choice will always be yours. And because we are talking of value, of course, I had to bring out my little 24K champagne. 
Sure. We're going to sip together. And this sip is for transformation, growth, and attracting everything that we want in life. Cheers. Guys, thank you for watching. If you're listening on Spotify, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you're looking to find the High Value Woman audiobook, it's in the description below. And you know the rest until we meet again.